Okay, so the purpose of this particular video is to show you how to create a multi-state object that contains an image and a text panel. So for each of the things that I want to demonstrate with my multi-state object, I also wanted to have some text that explained what was going on. So I have created the same size text panel for each of the images that I'm going to show, and then I have grouped each image with its associated text panel. Once I have the four, in this case, the four images and their text panels, I'm going to select each one of them by shift clicking, and then I'm going to line them up using the align panel, and I'm just going to use the Photoshop final project as a target, and so I've got, I've got all of these now nicely lined up, I'm going to create an object state out of this, a multi-state object, by um, clicking on the object state panel and then um, converting the selection that I have to a multi-state object. And then I'm going to rename this multi-state object to Photoshop Examples. Okay, so now that I have a multi-state object, I need to be able to navigate through the states. On the side, on my pasteboard, I have two arrows that I created, and I'm just going to make these into buttons. And to do that, um, and these are just um, lines that I went to the stroke panel and added a start end, and I picked one of the triangles and added some color to the line and um, increased the, the weight of it. So um, that's how I got an arrow on, um, on a basic line. So I'm going to um, click on my arrow button and create a, or my arrow object and create a button out of this by coming to my button panel menu and saying that I'd like to convert this to a button. I'm going to say next and on release or tap. I'm going to go to the next state and it is going to the next state of my Photoshop object. And when I get to the end of the objects, I'm going to have it stop at the last state. I'm going to repeat this for my back arrow by making it a button and saying that is my previous button. And on release or tap, it's going to go to the previous state of my Photoshop object and stop at the first state. If I click on the preview spread, I should be able to test this out. Um, and let's just click, click, click. Okay, so I can see that that works just fine. And um, that is how you create a uh, multi-state object that has a text box associated with it, which is basically you create the, the thing that you want to show and the box at the same time and group them together before you select all of the states and make the, all of them into a multi-state object. And then don't forget to create navigation buttons so you can um, navigate through those um, the multi-state object.